Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to share with you a top strategy of what to do when your Venus flytrap flowers. Pay close attention to this information as it can help you grow healthier and larger Venus flytraps. Also, like and subscribe this video if you're interested in more carnivorous plant content. In the spring or during the summer, Venus flytraps produce flower stalks which turn into flower bunches. These flowers are used for reproduction to be able to propagate through seeds. Even though the flowering process for Venus flytraps, like with any other plants, is completely normal, the general recommendation for Venus flytraps is to stop the flowering process by cutting off those flower stalks and removing them before they turn into flowers. Right now, two of my Venus flytraps are just producing those flower stalks and I will be removing them. And here is why. When Venus flytraps start producing flowers, they use an immense amount of energy producing those flowers. And a lot of that energy is drained from the plant. If you let your Venus flytrap flower, then its growth will slow down through the whole season and it might not produce as large traps or it might not divide as much as it would have without the flowering process. Also, sometimes Venus flytraps die after flowering. And this is a bit of a misconception. Some people believe that the fact that a Venus flytrap flowers cause them to actually die. But in reality is that what happens is that sometimes Venus flytraps are already weak because they are not growing at optimal conditions. And if you let them flower, then the plant loses a lot of energy producing those flowers and it might end up dead in the long run. If you're not interested in collecting seeds, I discourage you from letting your Venus flytrap flower because they're really no point, if you're not planning to propagate your Venus flytrap through seeds, the only thing that your flowers will do is simply slow down the growth in your plant. Also, there's other ways to propagate your Venus flytrap. There's actually a way to propagate Venus flytraps through flower stalks. I have actually made a whole video tutorial about that. In my situation, for example, I'm not interested in propagating through seeds because right now I have several Venus flytrap. I'm not looking for more. And also, one of the Venus flytraps that is flowering is a red dragon. I could let it flower and pollinate those, those flowers and extract those seeds, but those seeds won't be red dragon seeds. It would just be a standard Venus flytrap, which could be disappointing for some of you that maybe have very unique cultivars and want to obtain more of them and are thinking that through seeds you can get more, but instead you might want to try the flower stalk propagation or the division or leaf pullings. Finally, another reason why you should be discouraged about letting your plant flower at all is that the flowers in Venus flytraps are really unimpressive. They are these really small uh, white flowers with green veins. I can show you a picture of them if you want, but really, if you just want them for the looks, it is not the most impressive flower. For all those reasons is that I have decided that I really don't want my Venus flytraps to flower. I want to focus on making them look the best they can, so I'm going to remove them. To remove these flower stalks is really extremely easy. The only thing you need to do is grab a pair of scissors, locate the flower stalk, grab it, and chop it off. As close as you can to the bottom, but without damaging any of the surrounding leaves. The sooner you take out the flower stalk, the better. As the flower stalk grows, then your arena fly drop spends more and more energy. Mine are still fairly small, so my, plant, my plants have barely spent any energy producing those flower stalks. And of course, if you are still interested in growing those flowers, maybe you're really excited about propagating your Venus flytrap through seeds and you would like to harvest, harvest some, that is perfectly okay. Just please make sure that your Venus flytrap is healthy, it has good coloring, it has large traps, and it is ready to flower and it's not actually going to be harmed by the flowering process. Feel free to ask any question below and make sure to watch my next video on flower stalk propagation. It's really an easy, easy way to propagate your Venus flytrap and obtain many more just from few simple steps. Thanks for watching.